السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان الحمد للہ ونستعینه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوکل علیه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سیئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد الویڈیو نہیں آ رہا ہے اپ کا فان الخير ان فان خیر الحدیث کتاب الله وخیر الهدی هدی محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدع وكل بدع دلاله وكل دلاله في النار السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویڈیو میں تھوڑا ایشو ہے سو آج شب ویڈیو نہیں رہے گا بٹ شیئرنگ میرنگ ان شاء اللہ ہو جائے گا میں شیئر کرتا ہوں وہ بتائیے شیئر آ رہا ہے کہ نہیں جی ہاں شیئر آ رہا ہے شیئر آ رہا ہے نا اوکے الحمد للہ دیکھ رہے نا بھی شیر تو آ رہا ہے بسم اللہ الحمد للہ والصلاۃ والسلام علی رسول اللہ رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو ویلکم بیک ٹو اور سنڈے سیشن اینڈ وی ار ڈوئنگ انڈرسٹینڈ ال قران دا ایزی وے وی ار آن پیج نمبر 20 الحمد للہ دس از دا لاسٹ پیج اف اور جوز 1 اینڈ دس از دا فرسٹ پوائنٹر اف دا لاسٹ پیج ان شاء اللہ دیٹ ول بی ڈوئنگ سو ال بقرہ 135 اینڈ 136 آر دی آیت دیٹ وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک سو ور ٹو ور میننگز ایکچولی دا تھنگ واز شیئرڈ ا لٹل لیٹر اور جسٹ دس مارننگ سو می بی یو ڈنٹ ہیو ٹائم ٹو گو تھرو اٹ بٹ یو کین ٹیک اٹ ا لٹل لیٹر سو وی آر آن جوز 1 فرسٹ کوارٹر سیکنڈ کوارٹر ریپرزنٹڈ بائی دی رائٹ اینڈ دی لیفٹ ہینڈز لائک وی میک فار دعا first five pages and then we have up to 10 pages the right hand again with the page up to page number 15 and we are on the last uh, hand or the last uh, quarter so uh, on the last page of the last quarter so just revising this is the 16th and 17th page by the little finger 19 and uh, 18 by the index and the uh, middle finger <clears throat> and the 20th page which is the thumb which is the last page of the uh, juice okay <clears throat> so in this page we have four pointers and the four uh, pointers are follow ibrahim alayhi salam the ideal belief uh, then allah is questioning you dispute about allah and most unjust hide the testimony of allah so follow ibrahim the ideal belief you dispute about allah more unjust a most unjust hides the testimony so follow ibrahim alayhi salam ideal belief dispute and unjust these are the four pointers of the 20th page and in that we are going to be doing the first pointer which is follow ibrahim alayhi salam <coughs> uh connecting it with the previous uh, ayah we know that uh, allah taala mentioned about uh, ibrahim alayhi salam ismail alayhi salam yaqub alayhi salam for all the followers of islam we should therefore follow islam and then the discussion continues here Uh, so the Jews and Christians may invite you to accept their faith. Tell them on uh, be on the path of Ibrahim alayhi salam who was an upright Muslim. We believe in the Quran and all the revelations mentioned in the Quran. We believe in all the prophets. We do not differentiate between the prophets. Uh, how easy the Quran is. The new words are only few and to learn them easily we will use phrases. Uh, with this inshallah <coughs> we begin with the first uh, of the day. تحت <تصفيق> قل بل ملة إبراهيم حنيفا وما كان من المشركين 
So we have Waqalu. <clears throat> Qalu is they said. What is Kunu? What is Kunu? Kana Kunu B. Kun Kunu. Plural of Kun. Kul, very good. Plural of Kun. Kun is an order imperative. So uh, uh, they are saying Waqalu Kala. Kala and Kalu. Kalu is a plural, right? So Waqalu and they all said. What did they say? Kunu. Be and become. So, what will be the order of Kalu? Kunu. No, no. Kala, Kalu. Order of Kalu? Kul. Kul. And plural? Kulu. Kulu. So, that is coming in the next type, inshallah. Right? So, now, Alhamdulillah, uh, this part is uh, clear to most of the people. So, Kalu, Kunu, Hu, Dan, Au, Nasara. So, they are saying, who the, the Bani Israel and maybe the not not so much the Mushriks because here the, they are talking about Hudan and Nasara. So Kalu they say, which means the Jews and the Christians say, Kunu be Hudan au Nasara, be Jews or Christians. Tahtadu. Only then you are guided to the right path. <clears throat> and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering. Kul is an order, we know, and when Kul comes, we know that Allah is ordering the Prophet to say something. Allah Ta'ala is ordering the Prophet to say, Bal millata Ibrahima Hanifa. Nay, but millata, millat is religion. Ibrahim, millata Ibrahim, millat of Ibrahim, Hanifa. Hanifa is upright. So here, if we uh, see uh, the word millat is used and not deen. So millat means uh, it, it indicates more closeness, it, it, it indicates kind of a unity. So just uh, the, the choosing of the words by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is of very great importance and we have to try to understand that why certain words are used somewhere. It could have been Deen Ibrahim, right? At other places there is Deen also written. But here Allah Ta'ala is talking about Millat because Allah Ta'ala is addressing the Jews of Medina and the Christians who would be uh, there. And uh, if we consider today's uh, uh, Jews and Christians also, this will be applicable to them as well. So Kul Bal and Allah Ta'ala is ordering Bal Millat Ibrahim Hanifa. He's not saying Deen Ibrahim. He's saying Millat Ibrahim. Millat indicates more closeness and more unity. So Allah Ta'ala is saying that you all are different people, but you have to be united and unite to Ibrahim Alayhi Salam. Because Christians don't deny Ibrahim Alayhi Salam and the uh, uh, Yahudi or uh, the Jews also don't deny Ibrahim Alayhi Salam. Wama Kaan Amin al Mushrikeen and not he was from the Mushrikeen. Uh, why is this statement being said here? Is because uh, they somewhere went into shirk, right? So, how do the Jews go into the shirk? Jews still are not directly openly doing shirk, but we know from uh, one of the ayat uh, where uh, <clears throat> Abdullah bin Salam uh, said that uh, they used to take their priests as rub, right? This is there in the Quran. And Abdullah bin Salam came to the Prophet and he said that uh, we are not taking them for our lords, but the Prophet answered him by saying, that if you are following what they are ordering, that is the uh, shirk that they are doing, right? So that is the shirk of the Jews. And what is the shirk of the Christians? Is that now, whatever uh, deen Isa alayhi salam had got, <clears throat> now is completely different. And what the doctrines and principles and dogmas that are followed today is, is completely generated few years after Isa alayhi salam. So, and based on these doctrines, they are, were wanting the Prophet ﷺ and the Muslims to come to their deen. And this is what they are doing even today. We have the funded missionaries who are doing their work on these things. So, <clears throat> they were saying that if you come to this, then you will be guided. Then Allah Ta'ala is answering, uh, asking the Prophet ﷺ to answer, Kul bal millat Ibrahim hanifa wa ma kana min al And he was not from the Mushrikeen. Because of min, we have Mushrikeen in the genitive case. Okay. Min, Hurfe Jar. Mushrikeen is Al Mushrikeen is in the Jar, jar form or Jar state. Okay. So now, uh, and the other thing is that uh, here Jews and Christians are in the uh, which state? Rafa, Nasab, and uh, Jar. Rough. Nasab. Nasab state. So they have Fatha on it, right? Because they are the objects here. They are saying B, Udan, Aun, Asara. So this is a condition that they are saying, right? So inshallah, we have this in the grammar coming up today on how the Nasab state comes. Tahtadu. Kulbal Millata Ibrahima. Right. So now this, okay. Millata Ibrahima is what now? In this in this sentence, Millata Ibrahima is what? 
mudaf mudaf ilahi mudaf mudaf ilahi mashallah very good but this mudaf ilahi should have had what illa to kasra ibrahim should have ibrahim should be kasra yes but it is not kasra so why why so see one it's, rule of mudaf mudaf ilahi one rule of mudaf mudaf ilahi is that the second word will always have a kasra like we said rasulullah he right we have seen this many times but why there is no kasra here it is partially uh, changing idra ibrahim and ibrahima no char why it is uh, not probably but it is partially what you can say it takes only no yeah five, five, five. yeah but w- w- why is it so <clears throat> it's not non arab name yes yes so that is that is the thing so any non arab name right remember this rule any non arab name will not take kasra right so in 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 contemporary world suppose if you have to say washington right so you can say washingtonun or washingtonan you cannot say washingtonin okay so any name which is not a native arab name will never take a kasra okay so this is sort of the respect that maybe arabic language is giving it to the other uh, languages just to uh, make you remember and understand so any non arab name today also if we uh, take any other name see there are some uh, names which are arabic and if they are arabic then they will follow all the rules of the arabic nouns but if then the word is a non arab word as i say washington or new york or anything like that so that will not have a kasra ever right so we have to if we know that then we know that why there is no kasra here inshallah the other ayat will also have a same uh, thing so millat ibrahim hanifa so uh, this hanifa is what it is a nasab state why is it this this is a nasab state now we have learned the rules is khabar khabar of what it is showing the hal it is showing the condition hal, hal. right so it is in the state of uprightness right so allah taala is saying but the millat of ibrahim is in uprightness right inshallah when you take the examples you understand that so this is showing a condition it is showing a hal and that is why it is in the nasab state so in this whole ayat we have hudan aw nasara both in the nasab state then we have ibrahim this is actually jar state but it looks like a nasab state it is a jar state because of millat ibrahim so you have to realize that this is a mudaf mudaf ilahi but without a kasra okay and then we have hanifa which is showing the hal in the condition of uprightness so like we say rabbi zidni o allah increase me in what state in ilm state in the condition of ilm right hal right so wama kana min al-mushrikeen and he was not from the mushrikeen uh, so min is uh, uh, after min we have the noun in the genitive state that's why we have mushrikeen and not mushrikun right so once you know these grammar things whenever if you are remem- uh, memorizing also you will know when mushrikeen is going to come and when mushrikun is going to come so whatever you have memorized then it becomes easy for you to uh, memorize that if if your uh, rules are already clear okay so rashi sahab aap yaad le le inshallah ഹനി Udan or Nasara, Jews or Christians, Tahtadu, then you will be guided. Kul, Se, Bal, Ne, Millata Ibrahim, the religion of Ibrahim, Hanifa, the upright, Vama Kana Minal Mushrikeen, and he was not of those who associated partners with Allah. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> one more thing is we have tahtadu why is this tahtadu is conditional yes it is conditional right so we have seen that conditional sentences the noon is dropped here the initial part is uh, an order and that's why we are not seeing the uh, change in that order that's why the kunu remains kunu uh, 
uh, and tahtadu uh, it it indicates uh, if you are going to do that then you are going to be guided and that's why the tahtadu noon is not there and the noon is dropped right okay this is simple to understand understood this point we do not have tahtaduna we have tahtadu right so since we have already taken up the grammar now this concept becomes easy if we try to uh, explain anybody this concept directly it will be very difficult right so since we have already done the other conditional sentences in man and all that this now it becomes easier for us to understand and the answer came from you all i'm very happy about that alhamdulillah <clears throat> okay so even today you can see the christians trying their best to give dawa we should have been doing this work invites them in the best ways towards islam we should give the example of prophet ibrahim alayhi salam who neither was a jew nor a christian okay but he was a muslim so with this we realize that the the uh, the principles of of the judaism that is being followed have also been uh, coming on later and also what as i have been discussed uh, what christians are following today is not what isa alayhi salam had come with that's why to get a unity point uh, we shouldn't be saying that okay bible also has this and we also have this no we have to say that this is the truth and this is what what ibrahim alayhi salam was given and what uh, musa alayhi salam was also given if we follow Ibrahim alayhi salam and all the prophets, the guidance set by Allah is the same for all prophets. That is simple and logical. The one who believes in one message cannot and will not find any conflict in any other message or messenger. The chain is consistent and authentic. So we have nothing against Isa alayhi salam. We have nothing against Musa alayhi salam. The people who have what they are following today is not what they had got. And that is where the problem lies. Tahtadu <clears throat> is then they will be guided. Then he will be guided then you will be guided, then we will be guided. What is the answer? C. C. Then you will be guided. Now you see here that this then is written in the bracket. Okay? This is the shart. And how we come to know this shart in Arabic? Because of the noon being dropped here. Okay? I'll just write. <clears throat> So we had the word tahtadun and which form this is? It should have been tahtaduna. Okay. Yeah. Which form of the uh, mazid fi this is? Ihtada. Ihtada. Okay, so this was a noon, tahtadun, but this noon is dropped and it becomes an alif. And that is the reason in English when we are saying, we are saying, then you will be guided. If you are doing this, then you will be guided, right? So this is the shartiya part in the sentence. So now we know how a little change is making change in the meaning, right? It is, uh, uh, it should have been tahtadun, but because of the noon drop, it is a conditional sentence. Okay. And why, sir, why this Millata is Mansu? Not Millatu. Uh, Kulbal Millata Ibrahim Hanifa. Um, I'll just go back and see that. Okay. Good question. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure if it is because of Bal. So, in, inshallah, I'll check this and then I'll, I'll let you know, inshallah. Uh, <coughs> is it that uh, that it may be, there may be Inna, which is Hasaf? No, so uh, that, that's what I wanted to check because I'm not very sure if Bal also follows with a Fatha. That's why uh, that uh, I'll just check that and then inshallah, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, bal, because of Bal, Bal would work like Inna. Uh, that's why maybe it is because of that, but I will just check on that because Inna will be always having a fatha. Here, the bal is maybe working like inna is also stress. You know, it is uh, the bal is also for stress. So it could be that, but I'll just confirm and then I'll inshallah put it in the group inshallah. Good question. I didn't think about it before. So good for getting it uh, out. So how can we invite the Christians towards Islam? Select more than one. The best possible way, yes, by giving the example of the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, who was neither a Jew nor a Christian, by distributing pamphlets of the true messages of Allah by gather by gathering them. Right? So all of it is true. We can do all of this. We believe 
in the Quran, in all the revelations mentioned in the Quran, in Ibrahim alayhi salam, and Musa alayhi salam, and Isa alayhi salam, and in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Yes, we believe in all of the above. Jews and Christians may invite you to accept their faith. Tell them what? Read Injil carefully, read Torah can, uh, carefully, be on the path of Ibrahim who was an upright Muslim and read the Quran. Right? So, yes, all of it is uh, true. If you tell them to read the Quran, they may not want it, but at least tell uh, them to read their books, the Injil and Torah carefully, so that at least they understand what is the reality of the, of the deen and what they are being taught today. Okay? In the name of deen. So if they read that, then they will realize that the message of Quran and Torah and Injil and whatever we are presenting is the same. If we, if we tell them to read the Quran directly first, uh, they, will, they may not do it. So that's why we tell them to read their scriptures first. And then uh, once they realize that there is some truth in their own religion, and then if you present the message of Quran, then it is, it is absolutely very easy for anybody to uh, understand that this is the haqq. So if you tell them to read the Quran, they, they will they will think that you also become another missionary and we want to just uh, convert them, right? We don't want to convert anybody. We want to get people on I the right path. Seen. Yeah? I think it should be seen, you know, be on the path of the... Yeah, that is one. But how will they be on the path of Ibrahim? Only because the original the Injil and Torah is not there. No, how we can say? No, but see, the original uh, Injil and Torah... So it's available. Torah. Yes, yes. So, but at least it has some truth in it, right? So, uh, of course, for, for the that is a re reason Allah has got this argument out of, of giving the example of Ibrahim alayhi salam. And Ibrahim alayhi salam is somebody who, who the Christians also believe in and who the uh, Jews also believe in. Right? So, this is this is a common point for, uh, for all religions actually. And uh, th this is directly exemplified by uh, when I was in Jerusalem, I, when I had gone to the place where Ibrahim alayhi salam is supposed to be buried, all the religions are going there. The Christians are going there. Uh, the Jews are going there. And Muslims are also going at the same place uh, for uh, ziyara of uh, <coughs> the cover of Ibrahim alayhi salam. <coughs> okay, so we go to the next ayah. This is a bigger ayah. So it is divided into uh, parts. So we will take the first half first. <coughs> so as we, as we saw, Kalu Kunu. Here we have Kulu. Right? So this is the order and the plural of the order. That's why I asked that before. So we have kul, kul and the plural of kul is kulu. And after that is hamza and that is why the vav is having a madda. So it will be, it will be <coughs> so I'm going kulu amanna billahi wa ma unzila ilayna wa ma unzila ila Ibrahim wa Ismail wa Ishaq wa Yaqub wa Yaqub wa Al-Asbaq Okay. So we have Kulu order say Amanna we believe Billahi in Allah. So when anybody is 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 uh, trying to give us their uh, dawa then what we have to say is what Allah Ta'ala is telling us and that's why Allah Ta'ala has not used the word Kul here. In the first part of the ayah, Allah Ta'ala said, Kul bal millat Ibrahim. This is the answer that the Prophet ﷺ was to give. But now it is directed towards the Ummah and whoever is reading the Quran and following him. Allah Ta'ala is saying, Kulu, you all say what? You all say, Amanna billah, we believe in Allah. Bama unzila ilayna, and what has been revealed to us, not to you, to us, ilayna. And then again we have, Bama unzila, and what was revealed. Unzila is, is what form? Unzila? Passive voice. Hmm? Passive voice? Passive voice, yes. What is revealed, right? So, Wama uh, unzila ila ila Ibrahim ila two, two words. Here again we say ila is a preposition, right? So, Ibrahim should have been kasra. But it is Fatha. Then we have Ismail again with a Fatha. Again, non Arab name. Wa Ishaqa again Fatha. Wa Yaquba again Fatha. But Wal Asbat is noun and it is Arabic. So Wal Asbati. Okay, did you understand this? I'll just highlight this. Yeah. Plural. Sabka. Yeah, it is uh, it is the plural and this is the noun. Well, aspati is the noun and it is an Arabic word. And that is the reason it is having kasra. Because of ila, 
the Ibrahim also should have had a kasra, but it is a non-Arab name. Ismail, Ishaq, and Yaqub all are having fatha in spite of Ila. <clears throat> so they should have been in Jar state, but they are in uh, uh, they are actually in Jar state, but it is looking like fatha, right? Well, Asbati. Asbati is what? The descendants. Asbat comes from the word, uh, the root words are sa, ba, and ta, which means branches. You have a tree and you have multiple branches of the tree. So whoever has come down from them, so the, these are the branches, suppose, right? So we have Ibrahim alayhi salam and these few names mentioned, and then Yaqub alayhi salam's descendants is the is called Asbat. And there were how many Asbat? Twelve Asbat, right? Another place in the Quran we have Allah Taala says that we divided them into Ithna Ashra Asbat. We divided into the twelve Asbat. Okay, so Asbat are the twelve children of Yaqub alayhi salam. Whose story will come in Yusuf alayhi salam, Surah Yusuf. Yusuf alayhi salam is one of the Asbat. Okay. All right. So, uh, this I think everything else is clear in this. Billahi has got Allahi because of the B, Wama Unzila, and what has been revealed. Unzila. That right. Okay. So I think uh, everything else is pretty clear in this. Now we are able to understand why the Arab is changing and how the Arab is also changing. <clears throat> okay. So Dr. Sahab, do you Yeah. Ye hissa? Hey, Dr. Sahab? No. Okay. Sahab, do you أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قولوا آمنا بالله وما أنزل إلينا وما أنزل إلى إبراهيم وإسماعيل وإسحاق ويعقوب والأسباب يعطي لنا سي you all, we have believed in Allah and what and what is revealed to us. And what was revealed Ibrahim to towards Ibrahim and Ismail and towards Ismail and towards Isahaka and towards Yaqub. Well, Asbati and the descendants. <clears throat> okay, so this is what we are being ordered. That's why they plural. So you understand that uh, Quran uses very less words and in those less words, it, it, it gives a lot of meaning. So just the use of this plural here, Kulu, is indicating that this order is meant for us. Okay, so whenever we are in that situation, what Allah is telling us to say, Amun Billahi, all these prophets and the asbat. Okay. What it also means that we believe in it, but what was revealed to them, what you are following today is not what was Wama Unzila Ila Ibrahim wa Ismail wa Isaka wa Yaqub al Asbat. Right? There's a very clear indication that the uh, message that they are calling us to when they are saying Kunu Hudan Aun Asara Tahtadu. Allah Ta'ala is asking us to answer. Amen. It means that there is definitely some distortion to what we are being called to and what was revealed to these prophets. Right? And we'll come to know uh, that a little later on how what is uh, that because uh, the last page as we saw when Yaqub was telling his descendants about whom are they going to follow after his death what did they say? Nahnu lahu Muslimun. Right? So this is what uh, they said that, that we are the ones who are going to submit, submit to Allah. What this also indicates that uh, the, what they are calling us to is not submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is very clear. They are calling us to submission to somebody else or something else or to some other doctrine or dogma that they would put forward. Okay? So even if they are 
uh, of, uh, they they are uh, they are calling they are calling us not to the hak not to the guidance they are calling us to misguidance okay <clears throat> so our uh, kulu allah reminds us to invite others to islam as mentioned here it is our responsibility to convey the message in the best possible way it is their choice to accept or not there is no compulsion in religion but more than that here we have to we have to make them understand that what was being revealed to or what had been revealed to these prophets and their descendants is not what is being followed and that is the reason we are not with them wama unzila ilaina one more interesting thing is we have a similar ayah in in uh, suratul uh, surah ali imran okay but there instead of ila ala is used wama unzila ala ibrahim wa ismail wa ishaq right so uh, the 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 importance of that could be i'll just i'll just highlight that also right so instead of ila here in surah ali imran we have ala okay so anybody can try to tell me the difference in ila and ala with rest everything remaining same here it is mentioned wama unzila that uh -huh. is the ila and there it may be referring to the books no there also it is same wama unzila ala ibrahim wa ismail wa ishaq <clears throat> see when we say ala it is like an order uh like we say alaikum it is upon you that which means that you have to do it right alaikum salat means which means you have to pray salah right alaikum anfusukum you are responsible for your own 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 selves right so allah gives it is like an order it is on you that you have to do this understood when the word allah is used allah indicates an order right allah means you have to do it it's there is compulsion compulsion that you have to do it so there the, the talk is going uh, towards the christians and uh, uh, then because the christians were following apparently following some law uh, and here the main uh, uh, guy, uh, the main audience is the, is the jews who felt that uh, they have had they have a book with them ila some something is sent to them And that's why you hear allah taala is using ila and there it is something that the christians have or uh, have been ordered to follow ala that's that's a little difference but uh, that will also make you remember that here we have ila and there we have ala if you are to memorize the uh, ayat in durud sharif allahumma salli ala muhammadin yastam no that is salli ala muhammad that is not an order that is uh, we are uh, praying on the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is ala on right but uh, oh. it is it is in english also if you say uh, upon you is to do this aapke upar ye ki karna hai so that is like an order so that allah can be used as on also but when it is it can be uh, the sense can come as a uh, order also right so on you is 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 this on you uh, you is so much due right so something something like that so the same word is there with the same sense and uh, the meaning uh, is more of an order than uh, uh, here it is to or towards okay the very subtle difference but uh, if it is that's why uh, the, the the quranic words that allah taala has used and has each word has some significance uh, we may be able to reach it in spite of doing this or we may not be able to reach it but this was something that i just wanted to sort of get to your notice and that's why we took this up <clears throat> okay wama unzila ilaina is and what is revealed to us what is revealed to us and what is revealed to them and what is revealed to him so this is simple wama unzila ilaina in what is revealed to us ilaina so then we to go to the last part of the ayah wama utiya musa wa isa wama utiyan nabiyuna mir rabbihim la nufarriqu bayna ahadin minhum وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ وَمَا and what utia is given so what is the past tense of this utia ata ata is the active voice this is which voice passive voice utia so like unzila we have utia and what was given or what was given 
right so see allah taala differentiated these two prophets who musa alaihi salam and isa alaihi salam from ibrahim isa ismail yaqub ub awwal asbat alaihi salam he differentiated by using the words utiya here and what was given to musa alaihi salam wa isa alaihi salam wa ma utiya nabiyuna mir rabbihim and whatever was given to the prophets from their rabb right so that is the authentication required for you to follow anything and we know that between musa alaihi salam and isa alaihi salam we had a lot of prophets la nufarriqu bayna ahadin minhum and we don't differentiate between any of them wa nahnu and we lahu to him means to allah muslimun are submissive these are the same words that were used by these prophets whom by isa by isa alaihi salam and yaqub alaihi salam's progeny when he asked what are you going to do after my death ma ta'buduna min ba'di and they said the same thing wa nahnu lahu muslimun we have just about 3 minutes i think we'll take this quickly so uh, dr sahab are you there assalam alaikum oh, i'm salam so you can take this part a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أوتي موسى وعيسى وما أوتي النبيون من ربهم لا نفرق بين أحد منهم ونحن له مسلمون وما and what أوتي was given Musa wa Isa to Musa and Isa al-Islam. Wa ma utiya and what was given an nabiyun to the prophets mir rabbihim from their lord. La nufarriku and we do not make distinction bain between ahadim minhum any of them. Wa nahnu and we lahu muslimun are submission to him. Right. So this lahu is going towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, right? To Him, this lahu is going to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Now again, if you see that uh, we have wama utiya Musa wa Isa, we have a ya alif maksura here, and being alif maksura, it is undeclinable, which means that it doesn't, it will not, it will not again take any kasra, right? Musa again, they are non-Arab names, but because of this alif maksura, they will always have a a sound. Musa, Isa. So it is actually Wama Utiya Ila Musa, Wa Utiya Ila Isa, right? But here this looks like a fatha state, but it is actually a kasra state. It is a genitive state, right? But because they are again non-Arab names, it is that way. But more than that, it is undeclinable because of this alif maksura. So if you have alif maksura coming even in an Arab name, then it will still be undeclinable. It will not have any. Uh, it will never take a kasra. It will never be Musi, Isi, never, right? Like you can have Abi Bakar and Aba Bakar and Abu Bakar, but you cannot have Musi, Musa, and Musu. Okay, this will always be sound of A. Okay, we just have less than one minute, so if we if we are uh, uh, cutting down or if we are uh, finishing, then we stop and then we start the grammar in the other uh, part. Okay. Is to all Mabni, no? Yes, Mabni they are called. Mabni means undeclinable. Means they always have a yes. We should remind that no prophet did any shirk. How can you call Isa as son of God? We do not differentiate between any of the prophets because all of them brought the same message from Allah, the same Rabb. When Nahnu lahu Muslimun, we submit to Allah and not to our culture, customs, desires, and whims or whims of anybody. Okay. Wama uti an Nabiyun and whatever was what was given to the prophets. I'll go fast because we have less than one minute. La nufarriku. We do not make distinction. No, it's plural for first person. I think we'll take the hadith after in the in the other half. Otherwise, we'll 